Good morning. I am just finishing off my morning walk. It's pretty chilly this morning. I'd questioned, should I put some gloves on before I left the house? As you can see, I didn't. I definitely made the wrong decision on that one because my fingers are quite numb and quite cold. They think that the lovely sunny clear blue sky weather that we've had for the last week or so has left us and it has been replaced with grey clouds and a bit of spitty rain but that's that's okay it's a nice fresh walk to kind of wake me up on this Monday morning my fingers are so cold <laughs> oh, oh my goodness they're so cold but today is the return of kids back to school in our whole COVID road plan map whatever I don't know what it's called but kids return to school and I know that that looks slightly different depending on what school you're in whether it's primary or secondary or you know whatever with Stephen's school he is in year 11 so this should be his GCSE year he you know, should be taking his exams which obviously are cancelled and he should be finishing school well he is finishing school this time around and how they are doing it in his school is so today Monday the 8th years 10 11 12 and 13 because they have like a sixth form there and they are they're going in they've been given an email with a time slot for their form they're going to go in and take one of these lateral flow tests and they will get their results instantly whether they're positive or negative if they're negative they just come straight home so like Stephen's time slot is 10 o'clock so he's just going to go in from, for 10 o'clock I would imagine he's going to be there for 40 minutes or so and then come home and then tomorrow like the earlier years they're like seven eight and nine are going to go in and do that and Stephen is only starting back at school like actually learning doing lessons from tomorrow today is just a go in and do one of these lateral flow tests and then they've got they're going to do two more in school I think they're going to do one on Thursday and one maybe like the following Monday and then that is after that that's when we get the tests I think there's, there's two two a week tests that secondary school kids have to do they will do those at home after they've completed these three how are you feeling about your kids going back to school oh my, gosh, my fingers are so cold um i know that ever since i found out that you know ever since the press conference that said that they were going to be coming back on the 8th of march i've just been like i'm gonna miss him so much it will just be it's just straight, like like with the first lockdown and then they went back to school well they didn't really go back till September did they let's be honest but when they went back in September it was just weird not to have Stephen around but you know it's a good thing for him completely that's just me being completely selfish it's a good thing for him obviously to get back into school and try and get some in-person uh, in-person teaching and learning done Morning, you awake? Yeah. You okay? Yes. Good. The little ones are up and playing and Stephen's alarm has just been going off and he's awake now. This is the time that from tomorrow we're like it's leaving the house time. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna, it's gonna work. Say morning. You alright? Yeah. How you feeling? I mean, not really going back to school. It's no, it's not really school, no. No, it's not. It's going for like 40 minutes and then... Yeah. Leaving. It'll be tomorrow. I was just saying, like, this is the time that we'll have to like leave and you're still in bed tomorrow. It's going to be a killer, right? <laughs> just get used to it though, right? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, well I don't really get used to it. No. <laughs> uh, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> He's gone! Go. Stephen keeps disappearing. Well, we are all ready. Well, run, run, Stephen's run, 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 all ready to go. It's five past nine. Run, run, We've got a while until, run, until we have to leave. I'm going to take him because I'm going to go and do the shop. I thought you were getting a pen. Have you got a pen now? Yeah. He's got a pen. He needs a mask and a pen. Where'd you go? Jim? No, I don't know. 
we don't know how laps of flow tests are done because I mean how many you have Stephen's had like two or three COVID tests by now like just the normal one I don't really know anything about these lateral flow ones to be honest why should you stay there I think you should stay there for your results does your result why? take like <laughs> right, we're off. It's cold. It started to rain. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Right, seen a little bit. Hope it's all right. <laughs> See you later. He's gone for his test. We're going to nip in and do the shopping. I was just thinking as I was driving away, what a crazy, like all these kids were like either like walking up like to go for their tests or like coming away from the tests. So I was thinking, what a crazy, crazy time. That we're living, like, it's just, I don't know, it's easy to kind of forget about it, especially when we're in lockdown or whatever, it's easy to forget. We just stay in our houses and whatever, but now things are starting to open back up again and obviously kids going into school. What a weird, like, experience for these kids to be going into school to take tests and, like, they're going to have to take two tests every week to be able to go to school. I don't know, it, it's... It's crazy. Anyway, I haven't got much time, so I'm gonna go and do the shopping. Shopping done, and oh, hang on, is this perfect timing or? Hello? 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 Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's perfect timing. Yeah. Well, I've literally just got in the car after shopping, so <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I've literally just left. Oh, right, okay, fantastic. I'll see you in a little bit. Oh. Who's that? Oh. You're right. Yeah. I assume yeah. you've not got COVID well, then. <laughs> they don't actually tell you what the result is, but. Does it not? Do they not? They tell you to go if it's negative. Oh, you have to be picked up. If it's positive. positive. Right, you have to be picked up in school by someone. How? How was? The, is it a, just a, like a nose swab and like a? Yes, yeah, just a normal test. N normal. And then what do you do with it? Go and like give it. So, you go in, go to the gym, then wait a bit online that it's supposed to be socially, socially distanced. distanced. Like they, the teacher literally said socially distanced, but then they don't do anything about it. Really? Yeah. Um, then you go in, get like a barcode, like. The, oh yeah, like the normal. Yeah. Then you go to there's like a bunch of people that there for the test. Yeah. Like eight people, or whatever. Then you go to one of them. Hmm. Sit at the table and they give you the, the, the swab, swab thing. You just do either side of your tonsil for five seconds mm -hmm. and then stick up your nose and twist it. Oh, so it is just a test. Give it back to them. Oh, then that's. Yeah, that's it. And then they sort of like do the testing or whatever. Yeah. And you wait down. Uh, go to the. Um, I... Dining room and do like two questionnaire uh, things uh, and you get your timetable. Ah, you got your time table then. Is it nice to see people? Yeah. Good. <laughs> so there we go, Stephen's return to school, kind of, <laughs> completed. Although obviously tomorrow is the proper return to school and return to learning and everything for him. He's gone upstairs for a little bit to enjoy his last kind of afternoon without school. And then later on we're going to watch a little episode of something together. I actually have my... Covid vaccine today as well. I am vlogging that separately. I will link it down below when it's up. It will be up after this one. So hopefully, the beginnings of the return to some form of normality. It's been 
a long road hasn't it almost a year now since we went into our first lockdown fingers crossed cases don't start to rise and we can roll this vaccine out as you know as quickly as possible and we can we can be rid of well not rid we're not going to be rid of it are we but you know we can get some degree of normal life back i hope your children had a positive return to school i know so many kids have been looking forward to it and so many parents as well yeah i hope it went well thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon Just for